In example 2a, we will look at compound interest using the TVM solver. Henry deposited $1,850 in a savings account that pays an APR of 6% compounded monthly. Assuming that no withdrawals are made, find the balance in the account after 5 years 3 months. In this case, the present value will be $1,850, the rate will be 6%, the time in years will be 5 plus 3 out of 12, so we can make that a yearly amount, which would be 5.25. And compounding is monthly, so that would be 12 times a year. We want to determine our future value. If you are already on the TVM solver, you can actually start and input your values here. But first, let's look at what happens or how you get to here and how you get out of it. To get out of the TVM solver, second and quit. To get back into the TVM solver, press the apps button, hit enter for finance, and enter for TVM solver. We're back to our same screen. To determine N, we want to take the number of years, which is 5.25, times the number of compounding periods, which in this case is 12. You can hit the down arrow. In this case, it gives us our 63. We want our interest rate of 6%. The present value will be 1850. Again, it's going to be negative because it came out of our pocket. We are not making any payments. We'll skip future value for now and come back to it. The payments per year and the compounding periods per year are going to be 12. Going back up to future value, you can see changed our compounding periods per year to match with the payments per year. And we're going to hit alpha and enter to solve. In this case, we get $2,532.99 in the account after five years and three months. So how much was earned in interest? The future value in the account that we just determined was $2,532.99. Subtracting off the original principal of $1,850, we earned $682.99 over the course of five years and three months.